your statement commencing with the words, well, as of now? Yes. And then the words can continue there. But remember, David, since 1 July 15, there's been 850,000 compliance reviews finalised. In 20% of those cases, the citizens have said no. Here's all my, of my facts. And they've said nothing to see here. In 80% of the cases, the debt's been raised. And in 99.2% of the cases, the debt is correct. Um, I suggest to you, based on your state of mind that you assert you had on the 4th of July 2019, that was untrue. Well, we now know the basis of raising debts as the SC or the Solicitor General has informed us is incorrect, so yes, that statement is untrue. But until such time as that advice came uh, and the use of averaging was continuing, that statement was in line with that. Well, your evidence was that you could not raise a debt based solely on averaging. That was my belief, yes. And uh, in 90% of cases, that's exactly what was happening under the program, to your knowledge, at the yes, time. Yes, that is correct. So what you said there, to your knowledge at the time, was false. To it? my personal view, yes. But I'm still a government minister, and it's still a government program, and this was the approach that Cabinet has signed off on three or four years earlier, and had been going on. And until such time as I'm not a lawyer, I've got a competent legal view, it is still just my opinion. Doesn't mean you have to misrepresent the figures, though, and say 99.2% of cases produce an accurate debt. That's the figures from the department, Commissioner, in terms of the way they were operating. That's their numbers. Their numbers, I believe, that I was using in the House of Representatives about the same time these interviews, I think, came about because of questions in the House of Representatives. Commissioner. I object. This is clearly part Oh, the number's being used in the House. Yeah, stay off um, what you said in Parliament, if you wouldn't mind, because of parliamentary privilege. Yes, ma'am. But um, you're saying they're the departmental figures, but you knew they, weren't, they couldn't be right. I had a massive personal misgiving, yes, but I'm still a Cabinet Minister. Yeah, but it doesn't compel you to say things that you don't believe to be true, surely. It's one thing to stick to the policy and say this is how we do it, and we're confident in the program, but to actually give statistics which you couldn't have believed to be accurate is another thing, isn't it? They were the numbers from the department based on the working approach to how the, the program was being run. They were the accepted figures by government to use. Mm. And as a dutiful cabinet minister, ma'am, that's what we do. Misrepresent things to the Australian public. Uh, I wouldn't respectfully put it that way, because until such time, Commissioner, as I've got the legal opinion, I could be wrong. I'm not a lawyer, uh, so my view may well be wrong. And having come from tax, tax says black is white all the time. It's extraordinary what the tax office does on a Commissioner declaration. So I've watched government do some extraordinary things. So I've got to leave room for the fact that I may well be wrong. The Solicitor General will determine the correct path, but until that time comes, I can't just give my personal opinion. I have got to continue to uphold the government policy.